A mother wants to know why her son was shot and killed by a security guard. Good evening. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Marius Payton. The security guard who shot DeAndre Ballard says he feared for his life and had to defend himself. CBS 17's Derek Lewis is digging deeper into this case. Derek. DeAndre Ballard was a student here at NCCU. Today, I talked on the phone with his mother, Ornisha Ballard, for about 15 minutes. She tells me she does not know why a security guard would shoot her son, but she wants answers. His son was a lovable person. He was a nice person. He was a genuine person. I don't think that, you know, he would just attack somebody just because. DeAndre Ballard was shot and killed at Campus Crossing Apartments. During police say the shooting happened September 17th. Ernisha Ballard, his mother, says police told her Ballard walked out of his apartment, leaving his keys, phone, and ID behind, and tried breaking into cars. She tells me police say a security guard at the complex shot DeAndre Ballard after getting into the guard's car. My son, you know, would speak to the security guards and stuff like that. So why would my son, you know, want to attack a security guard? The security company the guard works for, NC Detective Agency, says the shooting is justified 100% and the officer acted in self-defense. The company's management declined to go into any other details, but does say the public will know much more about what happened when the investigation is complete. Ernisha Ballard is having a hard time believing that. How is it self-defense when my son was unarmed? My son, is he, he's not even a big person. So why would you feel that your life was 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 in danger because you know you thought that my son was going to do something to you it's not a hundred percent just about i don't but i don't buy it Ballard says police told her her son was shot in the arm and the bullet went through to his stomach she says a gun should have never been pulled out i feel like this is something that they just want to you know just sweep under the rug and say okay you know deandre did this to the officer and he had all the right to kill him no he did not have a right to kill my son Arnisha found out her son was dead three days after the shooting. She says his roommates called her to let her know that he was missing, uh, but she didn't find out what happened until she showed up here at the university. Live at NCCU, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS 17 News.